empty streets of Ronald Ngala and Moy Avenue in Nairobi's central business district, among many other places where there were so many telephone booths are only a vivid memory and many have even forgotten that there were booths around these areas. Despite the fact that provision of payphone services is part of license obligations for all the telecommunication service providers in the country and especially Telcom Kenya, which under its license was expected to install 5,000 Boots every year. The disappearance of telephone boots, which were meant not only serve urban centers but increase access to the ICT to Kenya's remote, uncovered, and underserved rural areas, has been steepy. But what exactly saw the death of telephone boots in the country? Due to the uh, very high penetration of uh, GSM and people uh, and the price of GSM go too low, people don't use this one. The booths have now been replaced by call centers, dotting trading centers in major towns, leaving millions of Kenyans who cannot afford a mobile phone handset or who were not within the GSM coverage and served. Statistics show that there are only 29 million mobile phone subscribers out of a population of 38 million. By that time, it was very useful. With the current technology, I cannot imagine going back to them at all. Telcom Kenya, which enjoyed the monopoly in the national provision of the fixed line and payphone services, withdrew the services mid-March 2012, citing vandalism and loss of business in excess of 30 million shillings. I think we are losing a lot of money, meaning maybe we win, uh, we do 3 million shillings a month and we lose 20 to 30 million a month. The country's telecommunications sector regulator, CCK, says the gap will be bridged where the implementation of the Universal Access Program whose rollout is waiting the appointment of the Oversight Board. Information Ministry is expected to name the board later this month. Telephone boots was of great importance, especially when people did not have mobile phones. But now, out of the 2,700 that were available, you will not find a single one. Margaret Kenyo for News at 8.